Church, welcome to Unbound City Updates. Every Sunday, we are having our Living Room Revival series. Join us for our online Sunday service celebration with three broadcast timings, 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7 p.m., only here on our official Facebook page. We would also like to invite you to our weekly cell groups where we can learn more about the Word of God and make friends on and offline. We have an array of cell groups from men, women, youth, and young professionals. For more details, you may send us a message on our Facebook page. where we can learn more about the Word of God and make friends on and offline. We have an array of cell groups from men, women, youth, and young professionals. For more details, you may send us a message on our Facebook page.
praise to Jesus in every season. In every season, your grace has been enough. And I'm believing the best is yet to come. The cross before me, my hope on things above. The best is yet to come. Your presence is an open door. We want you, Lord, like never before. Your presence, your presence is an open door. So come now, Lord.
Hallelujah. Come on, let's all shout a praise to Jesus. Come on, lift up your praise. We honor you, Lord. We love you so much. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We know that your hand is upon this church. Your hand is upon your people, Lord. Lord, at this moment, Lord, you said into your word in Isaiah 61, verse 1 to 11, I believe that this is a timely reminder from the Lord to all of us. It says here, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. To bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and to grant to those who mourn in Zion. I believe, church, God is doing are building in our lives at this moment of worship as we lift our hands to the lord god is rebuilding our faith god is in the business of rebuilding our families broken relationships your broken heart in jesus name lord we are believing for healing to come as we worship you. Thank you, God. Hear our prayer. Hear my prayer to say, Come and rescue me to your
Lord, we believe that right now healing is available. As we desire for more of you, Lord, we ask for your spirit to come, Lord. We ask for your hand, Lord, to just transform our minds, Lord, to transform our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as we put, Lord, God, as we place our hands, Lord, into our heads, Lord, we are receiving, Lord, the double portion of your spirit, Lord, and your anointing. Lord, transform us, God, and heal us. Heal us, Lord, from every wounds, from every pain that we have been experiencing in the past. And we are declaring, Lord, that you are releasing every doubt, every fears, every disappointments, Lord. Puso namin, Lord, we just receive the healing touch of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. just fall upon this place. Lord, we are declaring your anointing, Lord, to be upon us right now. Yes, God. We ask for your fresh revelation. We ask for your fresh wind, Lord, to just blow through this place.
you are here because God the Father has given you to us you are here we may feel it or not but you are here church I want to read from John 14 verse 26 but the helper the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name he will teach you all things and bring to you remembrance all that I have said to you. Church, maybe you come here seeking for God's presence, seeking for the move of the Holy Spirit, seeking for God's touch. Maybe you come here, you need God's direction, you need God's leadership. God is giving that to you now. The Holy Spirit is here to lead you and take away your fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of the uncertainty. Maybe you are making decisions, big decisions, transitions. I want you to know that the Holy Spirit will lead you, will guide you, will guard you, will love you, and will heal you today. The Holy Spirit is here. He is your helper. 
He is so good. He is so good. Because He will give us the destiny. He will point us to our destiny. The Holy Spirit is behind you, before you, beside you, all around you, and within you. Holy Spirit, you are here. You are, Holy Spirit, we acknowledge your presence. Holy Spirit, we acknowledge your presence. Holy Spirit, we host your presence. Holy Spirit, we are ready to hear your voice. Speak to us. Church, let's, let's have a moment where we have to be still. Let's be still. Let's be still. And hear the voice of God. to you our hands today Lord we are reaching to your hand today God Lord you see every pain you see every negative thoughts every negative emotions right now God and Holy Spirit God we don't want to let you go we don't want to let you go as much as you don't want to let us go until you bless us today you don't want to let us go until you bless us today and we're gonna declare again once again your hand upon our lives upon our church because we need your move we need your transformation we want your revival we don't want to stop we don't want to stop lord until we bless your name until we bless your name we want to be lifted. We want you lifted up. God, we want you to be lifted up. Let's church, let's sing.
your blessing today. We receive your blessing today, God. We, we receive your blessing today. Oh, come on, come on, church. Believe, believe, believe. This is the day. This is the day I will receive your blessing, Lord. This is the day I will receive your love. This is the day I will receive your blessing, Lord. Your blessing, Lord. honor Jesus in this place. Amen. Amen. Are you ready to honor and glorify Jesus through your tithes and offering? Amen. Amen. Today, I want to encourage each one of us to give to God from the place of confidence that we are children of God. Give to God from the place of confidence that we are children of God. Therefore, since we are God's children, we lack nothing. We have more than enough. And we are obeying the will of God. You know what today, church? If you cannot hear the voice of God, I want you to think of this. Right now, close your eyes. Imagine the Holy Spirit is here beside you. The Holy Spirit right now is whispering to your innermost being. You, you are God's beloved child. You are God's beloved child. And do you know what that means? It means in Romans 8 verse 17, Since we are His true children, we qualify to share all His treasures. For indeed, we are heirs of God Himself. And since we are joined to Christ, we also inherit all that He is and all that He has. Church, we are inheriting all that He is and all that He has. We will experience being co-glorified with Him, provided that we accept His sufferings as our own. You are God's beloved child. It means you are not an orphan. You are not an orphan. So stop thinking that you need to earn God's blessing and favor in your life. You don't need to earn God's blessing and favor in your life because the moment Abba Father adopt you as His children, say to you that you are His beloved child. 
you are bound to receive. You are meant to receive the blessing and favor of God. Can we praise God for that? And because we are His children, church, we are qualified. We are qualified to share all His treasures. We are qualified to be heirs of God. You are made righteous through Christ so you can come to the Father and ask Him whatever you need and God the Father made everything possible for you. What is your prayer right now? Do you have prayer related to your family? Do you have prayer related to your career? To your life? To your ministry? To your friends? Do you have prayer asking for God's blessing? Asking for God's favor? Asking for God's breakthrough? Is it too impossible for you? It is not impossible for God. If it seems like impossible for you, it is not impossible for God. So church, there may be disappointments. There may be pains. There may be pressures from all sides. Maybe you are experiencing that right now. But God said, when we share His suffering, we can also share His glory. And what that means, when we accept the purpose of God in our lives and trust that He is good, and trust that He is good, we will experience the glory of God. We will experience the glory of God. Amen. And right now, I want to uh, welcome Jolene. Kasama ka ngayon. I believe that she's going to testify how good our God is. Amen. Well, nakapo pala si Jolene. And gusto ko lang po i-share kung paano gumalaw si Lord sa buhay ko through financial and sa family business po namin. Um, hindi nayaan ni Lord na mawalan kami financial at never kaming nawalan ng project sa business namin. And wow. itong nakarang week, praise God, kasi nagpagawa ulit yung dati naming customer. And, you know, last month, bago tayo mag-revival um, offering, sinabi sa akin ni Lord, kung magkano yung amount na ibibigay ko. And then I asked him, sabi ko, Lord, sure ka? Totoo ba talaga na yun yung ano? Yung ibibigay ko? But then, um, I follow him, I obey God. And then, ibinigay ko ng buong-buo yung revival offering. And then, after a week, nag-message sa akin yung customer ko. And then, sabi niya, magbabayad na siya. And, hindi pa yun. Kumbaga, parang pinalit ni Lord yung in-offer ko sa kanya. Pero sobra-sobra pa. And then, last year, natapos ko yung ginawa kong course na bachelor degree na Bachelor of Engineering. Yes! Nakayanin ko na mag-defense individual sa tulong yun ni Lord. Amen. And then, nakalipat na po kami sa Cavite. Napatayoy na po namin siya. Yun! Thank, thank God talaga. And iba talaga si Lord kapag um, nanalig tayo sa Kanya at nagtiwala tayo sa Kanya. Hallelujah! Amen. So right now, if you are ready to give, we're gonna pray. Hallelujah, God. Lord, we pray, God, for a breakthrough, Jesus. Lord, we come to you today, Lord, wanting to experience your love as our Abba Father, God. Lord, thank you, God, that before we knew it, that we need something, you are already planning to give it to us. Thank you, Jesus, that as our Father, you are a good, good provider. Thank you, Jesus, because you know our heart, because you know what we care, Jesus, and you care for us. You care for us, God. And right now, God, yaan mo, God, na meron kaming buong pananampalataya, Lord God. Being faithful to you in our tithes and offering, and being faithful to obey you and your word, 
Lord, we believe, God, that as we have faith, Lord God, you are pouring out your blessing right now. You are pouring out your favor right now, God. And we're excited, God, to see God witness, Lord God, miracles after miracles along the way, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, God, because you have paid everything, Lord God. You have purchased everything, God, for us with your blood, Lord. So there is nothing, Lord God, to worry about. We have nothing to worry about because you have purchased it all with your blood, Jesus. And we're going to take risk. Starting today, we're going to take risk and have faith in you, God. Trusting in you, believing in you. Because you have showed us nothing but goodness. You have showed us nothing but faithfulness, Lord. So we, we pray, Lord God for your blessing, for your anointing, for every good thing to come upon in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So, you may you may give through Gcash or use a bank account. Naka-flash po sa screen yung details. Please notify us by sending email at unboundcitychurch at gmail.com. Thank you and God bless us. Church, welcome to Unbound City Updates. Every Sunday, we are having our Living Room Revival series. Join us for our online Sunday service celebration with three broadcast timing, 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7 p.m., only here on our official Facebook page. We would also like to invite you to our weekly cell groups where we can learn more about the Word of God and make friends on and offline. We have an array of cell groups from men, women, youth, and young professionals. For more details, you may send us a message on our Facebook page. As we declare that this is the year of revival, we pray that you experience it in all areas of your life, especially in your finances. To give your tithes and offerings, you may give them through the following options. Personal drop-off to Unbound City Church Headquarters, via GCash or bank-to-bank -bank transfer. The account details are flashed on your screen for your reference. Kindly send your giving receipts through our email at unboundcitychurch at gmail.com. May the Lord increase your generosity. Thank you for your support in expanding God's kingdom. God bless you. Kanina when we are praying until um, naniniwala ako, you feel that wherever you are during our service, during our worship, that the presence of God is in this place. So kahit nasan ka ngayon, I wanna invite you to stand up. And um, today is our last day of fasting. Woo! And we are in celebration because you made it. Okay, sabihin mo nga po sa sarili mo, I made it! Amen! And naniniwala po ako, just as it said in Isaiah 58, na yung gustong fasting ng Lord, sabi po ng Lord, is this not the, the, the fasting that I want? It's to free the oppressed. It's to break the yoke of bandages. I do believe that during our fasting, or kahit hindi ka nag-fasting, but you are one in seeking God, with us, naniniwala ko that also God wants you to receive His power. So right now, as we end our fasting today, why not we lift up our hands and we're just in a mode of receiving, we're just in a mode of celebration. So
celebrate. Come on. I do believe that during our fasting, your prayer has been heard. Claim it right now. I love our song, Halina, that Lord, your presence is an overflow. The breakthrough is coming. Right now, we're going to sing it one more time, but this time in a mode of receiving. The God we're receiving, Lord. We're receiving this message. We're receiving this uh, blessing. We're receiving it right now. Sige po, just leave our hands and feel the presence of God. Lord, you are here. Lord, you are here with us. You are here in this place. Woo! Woo! Come on, wherever you are. Let's just sing your presence. Your presence is an open door. We want you, Lord.
you praise God amazingly. You are awesome and thank you for joining us. So, uh, sa mga nandito po and uh, uh, worshiping with us today here in the church, welcome. And you guys are awesome. Salamat for celebrating this Sunday with us, celebrating God's goodness. And you praise God amazingly. Kung nandito po kayo sa, uh, sa HQ, kung nararamdaman niyo po, um, that the presence of God is truly here. And you know, there's this joy and these people na nandito po, uh, they are really praising God um, wonderfully, beautifully. Um, God is just so good. At naniniwala ako, even as you watch this, that God is smiling at you. You know, um, the beauty of being in online also is that we praise God together through the screen or connected by the screen and Wi-Fi, but we also praise God privately because we get to have a one-on-one -on -one moment with Him in our room. Amen. Ang galeng, di ba po? Hindi lang tayo ngayon corporately nag 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 worship, but we get to bring God's presence wherever we are watching. Kung nasa ko checka, you know God can touch you there. Hindi mo alam that the heaven is open even if you are inside of the car. Kahit na po nasa kwarto ka or you are in the living room, maybe some people are watching with you or maybe some people are eating while you are watching. But it's okay. Because God is not limited by situation. He loves you. And thank you once again, church. Thank you for worshiping with us. Why not us at our word? Let's just close our eyes and pray. God, we just thank you, Lord, for this time. Marami pong salamat sa panahon na ito. That, Lord, even as we start, Lord, even before we start the service, you are here with us. We just acknowledge your presence, God. Speak to us as only as you can. Open up our hearts and minds. You are welcome to touch our hearts. You, you are welcome to transform us by your word. You are welcome to renew our mind. And you are welcome to bring miracles in this place and wherever we are right now. We just thank you, God, and bless you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Woo! What an awesome time. Thank you, church. You, it, it's, it's truly wonderful. And I, I can't stop saying amazing because you guys are amazing. I, I just love um, being with God and being with you, praising Him together with every one of you. So, marami marami pong salamat. And woo, as we declare or as... Um, we are on the last day of fasting. You are um, in. Um, you are in a treat because God is God prepared something greater than what you have experienced in the past days. Woohoo! Not because it's Sunday, but because God moves from glory to glory. Amen. Woohoo! So once again, uh, why don't we give God the best clap offering? Woohoo! Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so right now, the title of my message is A Journey with God. Okay, sabay-sabay nga po natin sabihin yan, A Journey with God. Okay, pwede bang, uh, this time, make it personal. My Journey with God. Okay, so you know, uh, C, uh, C.S. Lewis said, Some journey take us far from home, some adventures lead us to our destiny. Ay, sinabi niya po yan kung nanood po kayo ng Narnia. So, <laughs> sinabi po yan ni Aslan. Okay. Sabi mo ni, uh, ni Aslan, some journey take us far from home. Some adventures lead us to our destiny. Now, the question is, your journey is your life. And ngayon, yung, yung, yung everyday po natin, it's our step. You know, as, as a day goes by, as you, as you live your life in every day, you're making a step to your journey. Or you're making a step to your destiny. Or are you making a step away from your home? Okay po, where are you going right now? Yung journey ng buhay mo ngayon, saan ba siya papunta? Yung mga decisions natin in life, every day, saan po ba siya papunta? 
or even yung mga decisions natin in life, like watching TV, like going to work, like um, talking to people, or doing our errands every day. Saan ka dinadala ng bawat step at bawat action mo sa buhay mo? Is your journey or is your life leading you to your destiny or is your life leading you away from what God has planned for your life? Amen. Amen. But I do believe that today, God wants us to, to, God wants to lead us into where He planned us to be. Alam niyo po, if you know who's with you, you will never get a uh, loss in your way. If you know who is with you, you will never get lost in your way. And even if you get lost at some point of your life, if you know and acknowledge who is with you, He will lead you back to the place where you should be. Amen? In Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, sabi po dito ng Lord, Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, He is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Ang sarap po, no? sabi doon, He is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Alam niyo po, itong verse na po ito, binigay po ito ng Lord. O yung, yung uh, this is the one when um, Moses was passing yung, the torch and the leadership to, to Joshua. Sabi po doon ng Lord sa kanya, or sabi po ni Moses kay Joshua, He is the one who goes with you. God is the one who goes with you. He always walks with you. Amen. Sabihan nga po natin yan, God is with me. And ang sarap po, no? because in other, the other name of God is Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Woo! Alam niyo po, napaka-importante that we recognize who, um, who's with us as we journey in this life. Okay, I want to share uh, a story from the book of Luke, chapter 24, verse 13 to 35. Sabi po dito, now, if you are with me, you can read with me. Now, the same day, two of them were going to a village called Emma, Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them. But they were kept from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing together as you walk along? They stood still, their faces downcast. One of them named Cleopas asked him, Are you the only one visiting Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? Sabi po ni Jesus, what things? About Jesus of Nazareth, they replied, He was a prophet, powerful in a word and deed before God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced by death and they crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since all this took place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They, were, they went to the tomb early this morning but didn't find his body. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said. But they did not see Jesus, he said to them. How, Jesus said to them, how foolish you are and how slow to believe all the prophets who spoken. Okay, I want to give the background of this story. So, ito po yung, um, after Jesus was crucified and buried na po si Jesus, um, ito po yung ikat-third day, okay, nung namatay si Jesus. And there was a two disciples walking and, um, on the road to go to Emmaus. And then, um, habang naglalakad po sila, you know, um, fresh pa po yung pagamatay ni Jesus sa, sa buhay nila, sa, sa mga memory nila, they were um, disheartened about what happened kay, kay, kay Jesus. And alam niyo po yun, uh, Jesus has promised that He will um, raise, He will be raised from the dead, di ba? Um, uh, Jesus um, promised na mag-resurrect siya. And ito na po yun. And He was walking with the disciple, but the disciple didn't recognize Him. Okay? So He was walking with the disciple, talking with them, but hindi po nila nakilala or hindi nila na-recognize si Jesus. You know, um, sometimes, um, we miss the moment, you know, when we don't recognize Jesus in our lives and Jesus walking with us, we miss the moment. Ano pong ibig sabihin ito? You know what? 
Ito po yung third day na na uh, na na pre-namis ni Jesus and he resurrected from um he, re- he resurrected from the dead. And then um Jesus was walking with the disciples. Ang sarap po no na sana kayo yung dalawa yung kauna-unahang disciple na makakakita kay Jesus after he was crucified. But because they were too focused on what is happening with them, they missed the miracle. They missed the the breakthrough. They missed the fulfillment of the promises of God because they are too focused on what happened rather than who was walking with them. Amen. And you know what? Sometimes in our lives, there were moments that God is doing great things in your life, but we're so busy on what is happening in our lives that we miss His move. Amen? Sometimes we are too busy with the brokenness na nangyayari sa atin that we cannot see God healing us from those moments. Amen? Amen? So, um, it, it, that, that's why I do believe that our journey is important. But what, what is the most important is that we recognize who walks with us. Amen? Because when you know who walks with you, uh, meron may, magsasabi sa'yo na anak, something is coming, something is coming, and you have to receive it. You have to recognize the breakthrough, but sometimes we miss seeing the promises of God because we're too focused on different things. That's why this, this time, I do believe that God is reminding us to, to acknowledge and recognize Him in every season and in every part of our lives. Alam niyo po, um, alam niyo po, during this time, uh, na mag-end po yung fasting natin, pag naka-fast ka kasi medyo, um, medyo guarded ka po eh, pag ano, yung, uh, like for this, uh, this week, di ba? Medyo guarded ka, ano pinapanood mo, kasi naka-fast ka eh, so you wanna please God in every moment. Pero after fasting, minsan, Okay, balik na. Hindi <laughs> na nakatingin si Lord. <laughs> Di ba, mal-mal mo na. Or no, minsan, ano na eh, balik na tayo kasi hindi na nakatingin si Lord eh. But you know, whether you are um, whether you are in fasting or not, God walks with you. Whether you are fasting or not, He looks at you. Therefore, we should always recognize Him and guard our lives. Okay, so, you know why? Um, Kahit nasan ka po eh, God is with you. And I, I love, kasi po, uh, minsan, we limit God in a box na we can only receive Him and experience Him when we are in the church, when we are praying in the morning, in our room. But you know, even in your work or wherever you go, God is with you. I remember, do you know what? When God speak to Moses through the burning bush, alam niyo po ba na nasa trabaho nun si Moses? If you will read in Exodus 3 verse 1, sabi po dito, Now, Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law. So may kita nyo, yung verse na yun, nagtatrabaho po si Moses. And then, sabi po, di, sabi po doon, uh, and, he led the flo- uh, and he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a burning bush. Si, si Moses po nasa trabaho, di ba? But God speaks to him kahit nasa work po siya. You know, I love this thing about God because, um, you know, um, there's this uh, word that I always say na uh, God's creative expression, okay? God's creative expression. Ibig sabihin, si Lord po, He's very expressive or other, He's very creative on how He talks to us. Hindi lang po basta pag nasa simbahan ka at may nag may preacher na maganda joke lang <laughs> may, may preacher na, may preacher na nagsasalita or hindi lang basta when your leader is speaking or when you're opening up your bible god um does a lot of ways to speak to us he speak to moses through a burning bush when moses was in his work okay another thing do you know that God speaks to Joseph through his dream when he was sleeping or when he is resting. Another thing, God speaks to King Belshazzar, the son of Nebuchadnezzar, when he was in a party. Kung alam niyo po yun, in Daniel chapter 5, pag binasa niyo po yun, may kita niyo, nasa party po yung anak ni Nebuchadnezzar. Tapos habang nasa party po siya, Meron pong lumitaw na kamay, tapos nagsulat dun sa wall. Sabi pa parang kamay daw yun ng tao, tapos nagsulat sa wall. Tapos kinabahan siya after nun. Kasi imagine nasa party ka, tapos mag-speak sa'yo si Lord. Di ba? And then warning pa yung sinabi sa kanya. 
Ano pa? Do you know that God appears to Daniel's friends when they were thrown in a burning furnace? Okay po. And then during those storm, hindi lang nila nakita si or hindi lang nila narinig, but God showed up. God showed to the people that He is there with them. So makikita po natin, there are a lot of ways. At si Lord, hindi siya nalilimitahan. Kahit nasaan po siya, whether you are at work, whether you are sleeping, whether you are in a party, God can even speak to you. Even when you are in Netflix, di ba? <laughs> Alam niyo po? Ay, may siya siya. Sige, may siya siya. Meron ako one time, um, nanonood po ako ng isang K-drama. Tapos sabi niya po doon, merong line doon sa k-drama na yon. Good detective, maganda po yun. <laughs> Not flag, joke lang, joke lang. Pero sabi mo doon sa drama na yon, sabi niya, ano, kasi polis po sila eh. Tapos <laughs> sabi niya, ano, um, iligtas, ano, uh, meron po kasing na false accused na, na simpleng tao. Okay? Tapos niligtas, uh, niligtas siya ng ano, uh, sabi ng mga polis sa kanya, Um, hayaan na lang natin siya ma false accused kesa naman labanan natin yung mga nasa authority. Medyo mahirap. Alam niyo po, and then the good detective said po, sabi niya ano, parang um, we may not, uh, let's help him. Kasi we may not be able to change the world, but we may be, but we can change his world. Okay, so we may not be able, when, when, when we do good things, we may not be able to change the world, but those person affected by the good thing that you are doing, You can change His world. You can show Christ to the world through the kindness that you can do. Okay? <laughs> so, alam niyo ba, nung pinapanood ko yun, pwede na, pwede na. So, <laughs> nung pinapanood ko po yun, naiyak ako, sabi ko, kasi syempre, uh, as a pastor, you do a lot of ministry, and sabi ko po, o oh, nga no Lord, uh, I may not be able to change the world, but as I continue to obey God, as I continue to follow God, Every one person that I am helping, that I am sharing the word of God, can the other uh, world can be changed. Amen. And ganon din po sa atin, maybe na sa bahay ka lang ngayon. But you know, as you continue to show the love of God in your family, you may not be able to change your uh, whole community or yung buong barangay mo. But you can change the heart of your mother. You can change the world of your father. You can change the world of your siblings. And when you do that, they bring the change wherever they are. Amen. So, grabe yung revelation nila. I mean, um, I, I just want to encourage that we should have this awareness that God is with us wherever we are. Because we can see if God can speak to Moses during his work, bakit sa'yo hindi? Amen. He can. He can speak with you when even when you are in work. May nakita ka pa lang na papel, puting papel, but you remember the pure love of God, di ba? <laughs> you remember the glory of God in, in that white paper. You know, there's a lot of things that God can use to speak to us. Speak to every one of us. Diba? Pag umiinom ka ng kape, Lord, ang bango ng lupa. Hindi, joke. Diba? But you remember, uh, I remember one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite uh, food is yung uh, uh, sashimi, sashimi po. Tapos, <laughs> tapos po, pag, pag kinakain ko siya, uh, kaya, kaya ko siya paborito. Pag tinatanong ako, bakit ko siya paborito? Lagi kong sinasabi, kasi siya yung pagkain na pag kinain ko siya, Sinasabi ko, Lord, thank you, nag-create ka ng salmon. <laughs> Sinasabi ko kay Lord, dahil sa gustong-gusto ko yung lasa niya, napapa-thank you ako kay Lord. And during that time that I do that, I always feel that God is with me and smiling. Alam mo yung bata na, ano, pag binigyan mo ng candy or ice cream, tawan-tawa. As a parent, when you see your daughter or your, yung, yung anak mo, that they are rejoicing in what they have. Isn't it... Um, We feel, or um, yung, yung, yung mga adult, we feel good, we feel happy because they are delighting in what you are giving with them. Ganon din po si Lord, wherever you are, if we are recognizing His presence and we are recognizing the work of, of His hand in our lives, I do believe that God is happy, that He delights you enjoy His presence wherever you are. Amen. So, I just wanna let you know that God is with you and He is walking with you, not just through the storm, but even as you journey going to your work, as you journey in your career, as you journey in your relationship, as you journey in, in, in your goals in life, God is walking with you. 
And let us not miss that. Let us not miss the breakthrough that He wants to give in every part of our lives just because we miss recognizing Him. Amen. When we recognize God in the midst of our lives or in every area of our lives, we can also see His move in our lives. Makita po natin, because Moses, during his work, come to the invitation of God, he was able to, to be the vessel to save the Israelites from Egypt. Amen. He was, he was the vessel. Pero saan siya tinawag ng Lord? Nasa trabaho siya. Saan siya tinawag ng Lord? When he was busy with his life, God calls him. And I do believe that there's this invitation sa, sa bawat isa sa atin to be aware wherever God is, where, wherever you are, and wherever your feet is bringing you, there's this invitation na anak, let me walk with you. Let me walk with you. It's not that God is not present, but recognize me in your walk. Recognize me in your decision. Recognize me in, 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 in your work. Because, you know, every obedience that we do to the Lord wherever we are lead us to a greater promises of God. Amen po ba? Amen. So, you know, um, even in the storms, May kita natin kanina sinabi ko uh, during the time that Daniel's friend were thrown to the burning furnace, God was with them because they recognized God uh, because they recognized God in the midst of their storm. God was able to make them into a person that is stronger, into a person that shows God's miracle with them. And ganun din po sa atin. Mamaya our uh, Pwede na po ngayon. So there's this um there's this um um a pot in 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 um in Japanese. It's called a uh, kintsugi. And so I, I don't know if naibigay ko yung ano. I, I don't know if nabigay ko yung image. So ito pong ah uh, ito pong uh, tawag to is kintsugi. Okay? Gusto ko pong uh, gusto ko po ito kasi yung um this is very traditional sa ja- sa Japanese. Ano po ito? So, a uh, kintsugi or a go- uh, golden journey also known as kintsukuroi, 'di ba? Is the Japanese art of repairing broken pottery by mending the areas of break break uh, breakage. Okay? So, ano pong ginagawa nila? Pag meron pong nasirang pot, ang ginagawa po nila, hindi nila yon tinatapon. Okay? Ang, ang ginagawa po nila is they mix gold, silver, or platinum. Tapos po, kung saan po yung sira, doon nila nilalagay yon. Okay? So, bakit po, bakit, um, ba- bakit po, um, bakit po nila ginagawa yon? Kasi, you know, it treats break, uh, breakage and repair as part of the history of an object rather than something to this guy. So, kung baga, uh, sometimes in our life, when there is storm, challenges, or there is moment in our life that break us, di ba? Or, um, alam mo yon yung parang mga pangit na memory sa buhay natin, minsan we are shameful of it. Sometimes we wanna forget. I wanna forget this moment na nagkamali ako. I wanna forget this moment that I was sh- I was ashamed of this. I wanna forget this moment na napahiya ako or what. But you know, in the Japanese, yung yung pat po na yon is a symbol na whatever brokenness or yung pagkasira ng na nangyari sa buhay mo, let that gold or let that um yung yung gold na yon and platinum is a symbol of that brokenness ginuhitan po nila and then binabalik nila dun, dun sa pot para mabuo ulit. But nung nabuo yung pot, meron ng mga gold. Because those brokenness, they didn't dis- despise. Those brokenness, hindi po nila kinahiya. But rather, this is a symbol that I made true through this brokenness. Or I made true in this brokenness. I made true in this broken situation. I made true in this thing na maybe it's a shameful situation but you were able to make sure you were able to stand up on that brokenness when you feel the situation is crushing you and yet you were standing up you know maybe you have scars it's okay because that is a proof that um you were able to overcome that amen so sometimes in our journey it's not always perfect minsan meron po talagang mga panahon that you will be lost Meron pong mga panahon na um, you will be tipped over by what is happening or mga bato. Diba? But it's okay, you can stand up. You can stand up. Your journey may not be perfect. But if you have the one who is, um, who is perfect, 
what important is not about the journey, but what important is about you because He is being perfected in our weaknesses. When you are weak, God is walking with you and He, he, he is healing you and He is strengthening you. And those symbols or those times that you are weak is a memory and it's a moment where God has uh, given you His strength. When there is less of you, there is more of God in His rule. Amen. When there is less of you, when there's this crushing moment, na Lord, hindi ko kinaya, you will go back to that, not to remember that you were crushed, not to remember that you were in pain, but to remember that when you are hurtful, God was healing you. Amen. When you are hurtful, God is healing you. And ang, um, may kita po natin, dun sa, uh, dun sa story na binasa ko in Luke chapter 24, hindi po nila nakita. Hindi, um, they were so disappointed by what is, or they were so disheartened by what is happening that they didn't see, they didn't see God. Instead na, sabi po, um, I just want to read yung, yung verse na yun. Kasi po sabi dito, in verse um, 17, he asked them, Why are you discussing together as you walk along? They stood still, their faces downcast. Discouraged sila, downcast sila because of what happened kay Jesus. But they, they did not see na yung reason kung bakit sila disheartened is now alive with them. Instead of rejoicing in that moment because they didn't recognize who is walking with them, they are in the place of sorrow. They are in a place of hurtfulness because they didn't recognize the one who is worth celebrating. They didn't recognize the miracle that is beside them because they're so busy looking at what is happening on this time. Amen. You know, I do believe that it's important to acknowledge your situation. Pero if you're acknowledging situation without God in it, we will not be able to see hope because He is the one that brings hope to our situation. He is the one that brings joy to our situation. It's not about what is happening in you, but it's about who is bringing the victory in your situation. Amen. Amen. Pwede po bang palakbakan po natin si Lord? Amen. You know, God is good and He always delights to be with us. Amen. And I just have these two points that how are we going to recognize God in our journey? Number one, know He is walking with you. Okay? Know He is walking with you. Because it's one thing that, alam niyo yung magkakasama tayo pero hindi tayo nagpapansin. <laughs> Parang wala din eh, di ba? Pero if you recognize Him or His presence, mas mararamdaman mo siya. God is omnipresent. Nasaan kahit nasaan po siya or nasaan ka, God can be present. God is there. He's not limited by time and space. But then, it's just us. It's, your, it's us. Are you willing to walk with Jesus? Are you willing to acknowledge Him wherever you go? Are you willing to, to, um, to, to let the Holy Spirit lead you? And uh, I love in uh, Isaiah 30, verse 21, sabi po doon, whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. This is the way, walk in it. You know, God is um, with you. And um, in John 16, verse 7, sabi po doon ni Jesus, so let me say it again, this truth, it is better for you that I live. If I don't leave, the friend won't come. But if I go, I'll send him to you. Yung friend na sinasabi niya po dito is the Holy Spirit is with you. Okay? John 16 verse 12 to 14. Sabi po ni Jesus, I still have many things to tell you, but you can't handle them now. But when the friend comes, he, the Spirit of truth, will take you by the hand and guide you into all truth there is. And sabi po dun, he won't draw attention to himself, but he will remind you of Jesus. And you know what? Yung, yung si Jesus po, naglalakad kasama yung mga disciple. I do believe that it's, a, um, it's God uh, declaring what is about to happen. It's a prophetic act of Jesus where the disciples is walking. Jesus was walking with them. Kasi yun palang sinasabi na ng Lord sa atin eh, that um, Jesus will go, will go back to the heaven. But then, He is sending the Holy Spirit and He is walking with you wherever you go. 
Amen. Jesus was telling, as he goes step by step, as you go day by day, as you made your decision in every moment, the Holy Spirit is with you, walking with you. He's walking with you. He's walking with you. And when you are lost, He's gonna bring you back to Jesus. He's gonna bring you back. Na anak, ito yung way. So He is walking with you. What are your de- What are the decisions that you need to make? Know that He is walking with you. Ano po ba yung mga nararamdaman mo o nararanasan mo? Know that He is walking with you. I want to share this testimony. Uh, last year, I also, kasi uh, every year po, meron din kaming, sa, meron akong fasting din na privately I do it with God. And then last year, I think it's almost the same, um, the same uh, day, naka-fast din po ako last year. And then, at that time, it was my personal fasting. Tapos po, meron time na, naglal, um, sabi ni Jesus, Mag-fasting ka sa social media, wala pong problema sa akin yun. Pero yung uh, fasting sa mga tao, yung huwag kang kakausap ng tao, ganun. I mean, um, I still go to work during my fast. and But then sabi ng Lord, um, uh, don't chat too much kung unnecessary naman. Just do what you need to do in your work and uh, talk to the people that you need to talk. Pero yung mga chat, mga ano muna, parang refrain from it muna. So, ano, um... Hindi po talaga. So, parang nagtaka ako kasi during that time, madalas po akong may kausap sa, sa chat, ganyan, may mga friends, ganyan. And that, during that time, meron pong siguro mga dalawa-tatlong araw, walang nag-chat. <laughs> so, ay ko, Lord, dalawa to. Walang nag-chat. Tapos yung work ko noon, very peaceful. So, parang wala akong, alam mo yung ano, time na wala ka talagang kasama. Okay? And during that time, parang, I, I, I had this realization na, Kasi po meron akong fear of man na parang um, I'm I'm uh, I'm afraid sa, sa sa mga tao na if I reject them or if I do something that disappoints them they will leave me and I will be alone and lonely. So kaya po para kasi meron akong behavior na bakit ganito parang even in my work sa mga clients or even in 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 my friends I feel bad when I reject people not because um the uh b- maybe because their invitation is conflict in my schedule ganyan ano lagi kong sige gagawin ko ng paraan sige gagawin ko ng paraan ganun ako lagi because i fear man leaving me i fear man or i i fear na ma-disappoint ko yung mga tao by rejecting them or doing something that it will that will not please him so before kahit na medyo nahihirapan ako as long as they will not feel bad i'm gonna do it Okay, so in a way, in short, God, uh, man pleaser, ganun. So, I wanna please man. I wanna, uh, I wanna do what, um, what, what makes them feel good. Okay, so, kala mo, bait eh, no? Pero, but it hurting me because sometimes, kahit na medyo masakit, medyo conflict sa schedule ko, kahit na pagod na pagod ako, go, go. Basta lang, hindi ma, hi, hindi sila ma, ano, ma, 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 ma feel bad just because I don't want them to be disappointed with me, to think bad about me. I don't want them to leave me. Ganyan. So, may ganun po akong, ano, may ganun po akong attitude before. And I, and it's very, um, b- very hurtful para sa akin kasi sometimes I abuse myself because of that. Okay? So, um, during po, nung ano, during po nung panahon na ito, uh, no nagpa-fasting ako, God just reminded me of it. Na parang sabi niya sa akin, alam mo ba, okay, sabi niya, alam mo ba kung bakit hindi, um, kung bakit kita pinagpa-fast? Alam mo ba kung bakit ko nilalayo muna yung mga tao sa'yo? Because, it's not because um, it's bad pleasing people. But if you are hurting yourself just to please people, Kawawa ka girl. <laughs> Sorry sa akin ng Lord. Diba? Kawawa ka girl. If you are um, pleasing man or men because you don't want them to leave you, it is not right. Sabi po ng Lord. And then sabi niya, I'm consecrating you right now because I want you to know that men may leave you whatever you do. Men may leave you but I will not leave you nor forsake you. So don't do things that pleases men because you don't want them to leave you. Because you will not be alone, Reg, because I will be with you. So don't fear. Don't be afraid. Amen? And you know what? During that time, I realized how important it is 
when you walk, when you acknowledge God in your walk, na hindi mo kailangan maghabol sa mga tao to not leave you because you are afraid to be alone. God is with you and He is walking with you. He loves you at hindi mo na kailangang matakot na aalis yung mga tao because they may leave you but God will not leave you. And if you have God with you, He will bring you to right community. He will bring you to right people. He will go with you wherever you go. So do not be afraid. Maybe you are afraid of what man may say to you, what man can do to you. No, God is with you and He will walk with you through the storms, through the victory. He loves you and He will always be there. So do not be afraid. God is with you. Do not be afraid. God is with you. Why not? Let's just say, God is with me. God is with me. I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid. Amen. So thank you. Thank you, guys. Ayan. So number two and the last. Okay, keep believing. Okay, keep believing. Um, sometimes, you know, in our travel, we experience a lot of disappointment. I remember yung first hiking ko po. Kaya ayoko na po makit ng bundok kasi... <laughs> Yung first hiking ko, beginner ka pa lang, pero pinaakyat ko na sa tatlong bundok. Tapos, yung, yung, yung bundok po na inakyatan namin, very stiff, na pag nadulas ka, makikita mo na si Lord sa heaven. Ganon po siya. So, because of that disappointment, pag may nagyayaya sa akin na mag-hike, sinasabi ko, maganda yan, pero hindi ako sasama. <laughs> maganda po yan, pero hindi ako sasama. Why? Because there's this disappointment in my heart. You know, you know, sometimes disappointment keeps us from believing again. Okay? Disappointment keeps us from believing again. Bakit? Because, we, because I experienced the pain in the body. You know? na, na-experience ko yung pain. Okay? Nang, nang, nang pagod, yung, yung parang hopeless ka na saan na ba yung ending nito. Di ba? Na, mak- makikita ko pa po ba yung pamilya ko? So, because... <laughs> I, because I experienced disappointment, I do not want to believe again that hiking will feel me good or uh, will take me to a good places. Diba? So, so may, mga, may mga ganun po, may, may ganun po akong ano, uh, pero wag po kayong magalala, napatawad ko po yung tour guide na. <laughs> napatawad ko po, um, uh, I, I'm, I'm praying for that. Pero because of that po, um, uh, because of that, parang because of the disappointment I faced, it stopped me from believing again. Sometimes, there are people who betrays us, who breaks our trust, and it stops us from trusting again. Because there's this disappointment, there's this hope. Just, was, just as what happened sa kanila, in Luke 24, verse 17 to 25, po, remember, sabi po nila, um, but we were hoping that it was He who was going to redeem Israel. Indeed, Besides all this, today is the third day since these things happen. Amen. So, in, in verse 25, sabi po ng Lord doon, Then He said to them, O foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe in all that prophets have spoken. Ano pong, ito po yung sitwasyon na naglalakad po sila. The, the disciples were downcast, disheartened by what, hap, by what had happened. Sabi nila, kala namin yun eh, pero hindi pala. Pero sabi ng Lord sa kanila in verse 25, Bakit hindi kayo naniniwala o bakit hindi kayo naniwala? Because they were pain in their heart. They were, uh, there were disappointments in their heart and it stopped them from believing. Sometimes may mga tao po or meron po sa atin that we stop from believing in the miracles of God because maybe you were praying for healing and it didn't happen. Maybe you were praying for financial provision and you didn't see that right away. Maybe you trusted your leaders before and disappointed you. Maybe you served God, maybe you served God before and you were just crushed. Pero sabi po doon ng Lord, believe again. Believe again. If you are disappointed or if you have disappointments in your heart because of what had happened before, don't let disappointments stop you from seeing the greater things that God has for you. Amen. Don't let disappointment, don't let because you didn't see the prophecy that has shared to you before na nangyari, eh mag stop na tayo. You know, does our faith in God relies only on what we can see? 
Is your faith in God relies on what you can see or in the situation? I do believe that we have to believe who God is. We have to believe who God is. Don't let your negative experience or your bad experience prevent you from what God can do to your life. Amen? Don't let, don't, don't let those crushing moments. Remember yung pinakita ko po kanina, yung kintsugi, di ba? Um, na-crush na siya eh. But because the potter didn't stop believing that this pot can be a good, um, that this pot can be a good, um, uh, good um, pot once again. This pot can be a beautiful pot. The potter, uh, they, they try to put yung mga gold, they try to put yung mga, yung, yung platinum. Because even if you were broken, as long as you trust your potter, he can mend that. And yung mga crushing moments mo, gold na yung ilalagay ng Lord doon. Hope na yung nangyari doon. Yung akala mo, pangit na kasi nasira na to. Kasi may lamat na. Bibigyan ng Lord ng gold yun. Ano yun? Yung hope that God, you fix me in this life. You, pick, you fix me in this situation. God, you answered me in this situation. And magugulat ka, katulad ng Kintsugi, you may not be perfect. But then, because God's power is perfected in you, you are beautiful. Your journey is beautiful. Your journey is good. Amen. You know what? There are also people in the Bible that they were experienced um, crushing situation. If Abraham was offended with what God has ha asked him to sacrifice, you know, in the book of Genesis, God asked, um, God asked Abraham na ano eh, na i-offer yung anak niya eh. Kung si Lord po, um, kung si Abraham na offend kay Lord, we will not see his testimony how God, um, how God lead him, how God, um, how God save his son. Kung si Moses po or si Joseph, si Joseph po, nung time that he dreamed and then hindi naniwala yung mga kapatid niya, instead sinaktan pa siya. If he del if if he meditate dun sa crushing moment lang na yon, hindi natin makikita how God uh, how God lead him through victory. Don't stop in the places where there is storm because it's only a season, it's only an hour, it's only a day. You can make it through, and that time is your testimony, and that moment is your testimony. So don't stop just because you receive this. Just because you experienced uh, disappointment, don't stop. Don't don't let pain and hurt prevent you from experiencing love of God, from experiencing the love of God. Meron pong mga tao na when they are hurt, they are trying to get away from the pain by by making themselves watch Netflix, going to friends. You know, we don't face pain. But you know what? When you face pain with God, it's not easy. <laughs> but then. It's beautiful because you will be stronger. God can make you through the breaking moments in your life. Just as what God has, been, has, done, uh, has done to a lot of people in the Bible. Kung, kung you are believing God and you are experiencing disappointments in your life, hindi lang po ikaw yan. Even Abraham, even Moses, and as we are reading yung mga disciples, they also experienced that. They also experienced hopeless situation. Akala nila wala na. Akala nila wala na si Jesus. Wala na yung, yung, yung um, anchor of hope nila. But then Jesus resurrected. Jesus rise up from the grave. Jesus overcome the death. Why? Because he wants you to know that there is hope in God. That you know crushing storms and challenges situation is not the end of the road. It's not the end of your journey. Your journey is in the place of God. God's heart. Your journey ends in, in God's heart. Your journey ends in His promises, fulfillment in you. Your journey ends in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So don't stop. Don't stop. Keep believing again. Maybe you're praying for miracle. Don't stop. Lord, hindi ko man nakita yung miracle ngayon, but breakthrough is coming. Breakthrough is coming. Lord, hindi ko man nakita yung financial provision before, but I'm still here. There's still hope. You're still here listening to this word. There's still hope. Maybe there was a relationship that ended. It doesn't stop there. Your life doesn't stop in the relationship. It's only a beginning of a new journey with God. 
is only a beginning of new season. So don't stop. Believe again. Believe again. If you ever stop believing because you didn't see your prayer come true, it's okay. Believe again. Believe again. You're still on a journey. And the journey doesn't stop now. There's still part and there's still a story that, that you can make with God. Amen. So your journey is beautiful with God in it. Amen. So right now, why don't we just, uh, why don't we just stand? And you know what? The disciple brokenness has um, prevent them, prevented them from seeing Jesus. But during this time, naniniwala po ako na God is realigning our hearts, realigning our minds na know who is walking with you. Because if you acknowledge Jesus in your life right now or wherever you are right now, your story will be beautiful. Your story will be with you. One of the one of my favorite um, character ko po sa Bible, si David. Okay, you know why? Um, because si David po, during the time na nagtatrabaho siya, he, uh, David was a shepherd. O, oh, yung mga nagpapastol siya ng tupa. Marami pong mga pagkakataon that he worship God during the time that he is in his work. Kaya ako nagtatrabaho ka, may business ka, why don't you bring God on it? Why don't you bring God to, to, to the places where you think na, Lord, busy ako. But then, when you have God with you, even in the busyness, you can experience His rest. Amen. So, meron po akong nasirang Apple Watch. <laughs> so, I, I, I have this smartwatch before. And then, pag, pag um, nakikita niya yung heart rate mo, okay, pag na-stress ka or what, and then sasabihin niya sa'yo, um, uh, if you take a deep breath, it will help you. So, <laughs> lagi siya may ganong notification pag, pag na-stress po ako. So, work or busy ako. And every time that I see that, I always, I'm always reminded that God is asking me to take a deep breath. Amen. So, you know what? Um, I do believe that the word that I'm sharing today doesn't end here. But this is just a beginning of us in a journey where we recognize God walking with us. Amen. So then, don't let your hearing or don't let the Word of God just be in this place or just be in this time. But after this, our hearts and minds are open right now to recognize Him in our journey, wherever we are. So right now, as, as, we, are, um, as, as we are closing right now, I want to invite you to this place. I want to invite you to this time where we are acknowledging the presence of the Holy Spirit. Sabi po in Jeter, I want to read Deuteronomy chapter um, chapter 30, 31. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6. Sabi po ng Lord, Be strong and of good courage. Do not be, do not fear, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, He is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. He is the one who goes with you. The message is simple. He is the one who goes with you. He is the one who goes with you and He will walk you through. Right now, as we are ending, why don't we just close our eyes? And sabi po ni Jesus, Yes, I will leave, but my friend, or in other... Um, in, in other translations, have you done the Holy Spirit, the Advocate? He will be with you. He will be with you. And alam niyo po, hindi lang po basta kasama natin siya. But He wanna fill you. He wanna empower you for your journey. He wanna empower you for your destiny. Is there an assignment na binibigay sa yun ng Lord? There is this invitation that God let me, uh, anak, let me equip you with this. That this um, spirit of God that is with us, that is walking with us right now, 
is not just limited in the church, but the Holy Spirit can speak to you wherever you are. Maybe you are driving. Maybe you are eating right now. Maybe you are um, in your work right now. There's this invitation that, Anak, bring me with you. Bring me with you. Recognize me with you. Jesus ascended in the heaven, but yet He bring the Holy Spirit so that we will not be alone. And that Spirit is a to us. He is not just here to accompany you, but He is here to fill you, to empower you, to give you strength, to make you strong, to help you stand up. He is with you to heal you. He is with you to restore you. He is with you to bring you hope, to give you hope. He is with you so that you can experience breakthrough. There's this breakthrough coming, coming in our lives. There's this breakthrough coming in our relationship with people. There's this power and miracles of God that is available today. So why not we as right right now wherever you are? I just want to invite you to just open up your heart. And why not we close our eyes? As we close our eyes, you know, we're in, we're just opening our hearts even more. You may be closing your eyes, but your heart is open wide. You may be closing your eyes, but your mind is right now um, um, being focused in the... And even as we worship, I want to invite you. I want to release and pray with you. That God, I pray, Lord na hindi lang po namin mararanasan at mararamdaman yung, yung banal na spirito na kasama namin. But God, when you are walking with us and when we acknowledge God walking with us, we can also experience His power. Why is it that God wants us to acknowledge His presence? Because in His presence, there is power. There's, there's, there's this um, miracles. There's this breakthrough. So right now, let's just open up our hearts. I just want to invite you right now. Let's just come right now, Lord. Let's close our eyes. Let the Spirit of God speak to you right now. you to acknowledge and recognize his presence because when there's his presence there's this power and even as our fasting is ending right now God we will never stop seeking you God we will never stop experiencing you invite you kung nasa bahay ka po or wherever you are, why not, as you sing this, let the Holy Spirit come with you. Let the Holy Spirit come with you. I want to release this awareness of His presence. Low through the caverns of my soul.
the living God come fall afresh on me come awake me from my sleep blow through the caverns of my soul pouring me to overflow come on one more time let's just speak it spirit of the broken pieces of your life. Let God bring it back to that place. Restore it. Maybe you're remembering your moment that you were crying alone. You thought you are alone but you are not. Maybe you're remembering your moment when you were crying and you're lost. You lost someone. You lost something. You're not alone. This time, let God touch us. Let God touch our hearts. God is breaking disappointment right now. 
God is breaking those walls, those boxes. And He is making you whole. Believe again, believe again. Jesus resurrected from the dead. Let's just have this moment of silence. God, Lord, thank you, God. That even as our fasting is ending, your work in our lives is not yet ending. And thank you, God, because there is this greater awareness of your presence. Manami pong salamat, Lord, for walking with us. And I just want to pray. Maybe you are... Um, those person that na disappoint before you have something in your heart, why not you lift up your hands and I want to pray for you. God, nakikita mo po yung mga kamay ngayon na nakataas. Lord, I pray for healing of the heart. Let there be healing of the heart. If there are people that hurt us, let there be healing right now. Let the love of God fill this place. Let the Holy Spirit touch those places in our hearts. Touch us deeply, Lord. Touch us deeply, Lord. Come on, touch us deeply, Lord. Why not surrender it? Maybe you are remindering or uh, God is letting you remember those things right now. Come on, we bring it to the feet of Jesus. Lord, this moment, we bring it to the feet of Jesus. Lord, this disappointment, we bring it at the feet of Jesus. Lord, kung nanakawan kami, we bring it at the feet of Jesus. Lord, kung nasaktan kami, we bring it at the feet of Jesus. Those pain, those words that was said over us, we bring it at the feet of Jesus right now. If people left us, you never left us. We're bringing it right now, God, in your feet. And as we bring it to your feet, Jesus, you are exchanging it back with your love. So today, I just thank you, God, and bless you, God. And maybe you are a first-timer right now. Maybe it's your first time to, to watch uh, a service like this. I want to invite you that Jesus loves you and Jesus gave his life so that we can experience his promises and we can experience the restoration of God um, of our lives to the Lord. So right now if you are a first timer and if you wanna um, if you wanna um, let God come in in your life and in your journey, I wanna invite you to this prayer. Sabi po sa Bible um, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever comes to Him shall not perish but have an eternal life. I want to invite you to this prayer. And if you are that person, why don't you lift up your hands? And God, right now, you see those hands, Lord. You see those new friends who wants to invite you in their life. God, I pray for them. And if you can just follow me in this prayer, this prayer dear lord jesus i thank you for what you have done on the cross for me i repent for all of my sins and i acknowledge you as my lord and savior walk with me lead me and guide me lord i am yours and my life is yours. In Jesus' name. Lord, I also thank you, God, for these friends and families, Lord, that is in this place right now, watching, and also in this church, God. Thank you for your message. Thank you, Lord, that this is not the end of the message, but this is just a start of something greater with you, God. So we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Come on, wherever you are, why not be? We, we, we speak and shout um, a praise to the Lord. Come on, palakpakan mo natin si Lord. Hallelujah! Come on, palakpakan mo natin si Lord. Let your praises arise. Let your praises arise. Come on, for 30 seconds, let's just thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. You are with us. Thank you, God. Woo! Woo! Hallelujah! Come on, 10 seconds. Hallelujah, Lord. We bless you, Jesus. In your name.
Church, welcome to Unbound City Updates. Every Sunday, we are having our Living Room Revival series. Join us for our online Sunday service celebration with three broadcast timing, 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7 p.m., only here on our official Facebook page. We would also like to invite you to our weekly cell groups where we can learn more about the Word of God and make friends on and offline. We have an array of cell groups from men, women, youth, and young professionals. For more details, you may send us a message on our Facebook page. As we declare that this is the year of revival, we pray that you experience it in all areas of your life, especially in your finances. To give your tithes and offerings, you may give them through the following options. Personal drop-off to Unbound City Church Headquarters, via GCash or bank-to-bank -bank transfer. The account details are flashed on your screen for your reference. Kindly send your giving receipts through our email at unboundcitychurch at gmail.com. May the Lord increase your generosity. Thank you for your support in expanding God's kingdom. God bless you. I'm Julian and I am Steph and, and welcome, welcome to Tate Talks. Talks. Wow, grabe, uh, Julian, sobrang nakaka-encourage talaga yung shinere ni Pastor Rich Amen. earlier Amen. about recognizing God in your journey. Alam mo, yes. personally, I am super, um, sobrang nakarelate ako kasi uh, iba talaga kapag nagiging aware tayo sa presence ni Lord na kahit saan man tayo magpunta, we are really invo involving God sa lahat ng ginagawa natin. And Amen. yung isa sa mga sobrang nag-struck sa akin doon is syempre lahat tayo, busy tayo sa kanya-kanya nating mga priorities. And sometimes, ang kalaban ng awareness is our busyness yeah. with a lot Stop. of things. And na-experience na mo na ba yun na yung tipong meron kang kausap na kaibigan mo? Tapos, ang dami mo nang nakwento. Tapos, hindi pala siya nakikinig kasi nagsiselfone yeah. or ang daming mga nagte-tiktok or ang dami niyong mga kung ano-anong inaasikaso and minsan we miss out doon sa mga stories ng mga kaibigan natin just because we are so busy with other stuff and yun yung naging revelation sa akin ni Lord for today's message that we really need to become more aware of the presence of God especially di ba kahit anong ginagawa natin kinakausap mo si Lord, di ba? Pinapakinggan mo yung boses ni Lord kahit nagko-commute ka, nag-work ka, nasa loob ka ng bahay. Napaka-importante that we recognize the presence of God. Amen! Ang ganda nun. Ano, Ate Steph, ah? And ikaw naman, Jolene, ano yung pinaka-key takeaway mo kanina doon sa word? Sa akin yung ano, eh, um, kapag si Lord yung tour guide mo, hindi ka maliligaw. Amen! Diba? Tapos parang, Huwag natin itago yung pain, kundi dapat isurrender natin kay Lord. Kasi tutulungan tayo ni Lord, i-heal yung heart natin para magpatuloy kung ano yung gusto niyang tahakin natin sa buhay. And syempre, um, maganda kung i-focus natin yung mata natin kay Lord, di ba? Praise God. And talagang i-acknowledge natin that He is walking with us wherever yes. we go, ano man yung kanya-kanyang journey natin in life. Always remember that the Lord is with you. You just need to acknowledge it. Amen. Diba na sometimes you need to take a pause eh. Kaya sobrang malaking tulong talaga yung fasting natin for this week kasi talagang nawala yung mga distractions sa social media and aminan naman natin sa, oh, sa hindi. So sobrang connected ng lahat ng tao. Diba? We are all online. We are all exposed to the social media world. And sometimes, nakalimutan na natin na yung attention natin nandun na sa mga bagay na yun. And nakalimutan na natin si Lord. So, it's really a great reminder na isama mo si Lord. Yes, diba? Ano bang amen. lakad mo? Involve God because He loves you so much and amen. He will walk with you amen. wherever you go. Amen. So, maraming salamat ulit, Unbound Family, for tuning in with us for today's service. Amen. So, see you all again next yeah. week. And now, 
We are Unbound. Hi Church! Welcome to Unbound City Updates. Every Sunday, we are having our Living Room Revival series. Join us for our online Sunday service celebration with three broadcast timing, 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7 p.m., only here on our official Facebook page. We would also like to invite you to our weekly cell groups where we can learn more about the Word of God and make friends on and offline. We have an array of cell groups from men, women, youth, and young professionals. For more details, you may send us a message on our Facebook page. As we declare that this is the year of revival, we pray that you experience it in all areas of your life, especially in your finances. To give your tithes and offerings, you may give them through the following options. Personal drop-off to Unbound City Church Headquarters, via GCash or bank-to-bank -bank transfer. The account details are flashed on your screen for your reference. Kindly send your giving receipts through our email at unboundcitychurch at gmail.com. May the Lord increase your generosity. Thank you for your support in expanding God's kingdom. God bless you.